I've got my uh, myself a Bembo tripod head off eBay. It's a 3 8 16 thread on the top. I'm going to adapt that, make a quarter 20 thread, which is a standard camera thread. When I bought it, it was quite locked up. So I've taken it to pieces where this screw had arrived in. It was galled up inside. It's now working. When you tighten this, it locks up. But it's going to make a mess again. So I'm going to make a spare part for it as well. I'm going to keep the 3 8 20 thread at this end. My plan of action to adapt this to quarter 20 will be to take the correct length of thread from an imperial cap screw, slice it off, drill it and tap it for Whitworth, quarter 20. And I'll put a little slice across it so that I can use it to screw down and install tight into the head. I'm going to just check what length I need. This isn't precision engineering, but that's a fair old length of thread, more than you'd imagine. So I'm going to cut that off and then tidy it in the lathe. Using the cap stud means I've got a good quality thread. We're in a 5C collet there and uh, tidying it up. Tidy the end, chamfer tool. Tidied on the lathe, we'll put a screwdriver slot in it, then drill it and tap it. I can find the centre quite easily just by lining it up. We'll put that slot in, and these blades, if you get it wrong, yeah, they right, well that gave me a singing lesson and it was a bit brutale, so uh, it's hardened isn't it? Let's uh, give it a bit of gas. you think that's pretty soft, this, but I'm going to let that soak. Oh, that'll do it. We've got that good and hot. We'll let it slowly cool. Come back later. While that's cooling, I'm just going to tidy up that cap head, what's left of the cap head. The lathe is a beast of a machine. It's using uh, carbide tips. Yeah, sure, it can, uh, it can demolish stuff, can't it, really? We're going to put this in reverse and come from around the uh, back side of it to chamfer that off, just tidy it up. On the uh, lathe there, we just pushed that through the back side of the collet. There you go. And it's done exactly what it says on the packet. Dressed it off with a file at the end. So that can screw and we've, we're starting to get a mount system going. 
Right, we'll wait for that part to cool and uh, we'll go for it. Cutter on the mill is high speed steel and it's no match for a hardened stud. Soften it up and it should cut quite happily. Not that high pitch ping, is it? It's a bit gentler this time. Okay, so here's the deal. We're in back gear. We're doing about 86 revs. It's on auto feed. I'm still babying it along. But we'll get a nice job here. And it's so easy to put your fingers in that cutter. You can actually see it on the video, but in real life, that's just a blur. Oh well, uh, I didn't hit the center, but it's a nice tidy job. So let's see what it looks like screwed in. And if we're looking good, then drill it and tap it. And I'm quite happy that we've softened it up because I don't want to knack in my taps. Now that's quite tight there. Yep, that got it. I just uh, took a little bit off the end, then dressed it off a bit with a little triangular diamond file. These diamond files really good. Right, so we've drilled it and uh, put a quarter 20 tap in. As we all know, the sole purpose in life of a quarter inch Whitworth tap is to try and snap on you. Anyway, it didn't. Happy days. So I'm going to just glue this stud in, a little bit of thread locker, then we'll cut the cap off this uh, two length. Yep, that's got it. Uh, could be a bit longer, but it'll go in the bottom of my camera. It's giving a good few turns. We'll use this to screw it into Mr. Bembo. Okay, and uh, that's great. There we have it. So that gave me a longer thread that's gone in than if you bought it and I can cement that in if I wanted to and I've still got the chance to unscrew it using these two little lugs. At the back side this is a thread adapter, a sh you know that's what you buy. But it's short, it's not engaging very far so I'd probably make one of those if I was going to adapt that thread. So we'll take this uh, ball head tripod adapter to pieces and have a look what we've got in the uh, in the guts. Actually, let's just have a look at that. Right. Now that's the little pressure plate. And all these screws do is bray it against here. But of course, someone's really lent on it and scuffed that all up. So I've got two ways to go. One, make a little ring that goes inside. Or two, make a soft head for the end of the screw. I've already dressed this off and cleaned it and smartened it. I think there might be a piece missing because I can't imagine that Bembo made this screw to sit so far below the surface. Uh, you can see previously this lips rolled over the clamp nuts been digging right in. I've, I've improved the uh, that stud smoothed it off but there's only going to be one winner between these two 
it's going to be this one and this poor old boy is going to get chewed up so we'll see if we can help matters a bit okay so uh, we're just making this, uh, this little bushing up on the lathe it's been coming out of a tiny piece of stock I've got a bit of coolant going on I've got my hand on the trip by the way I can knock it off my foot can kick the safety out so we'll get that knocked up see how we go big layer like this big to me soon hogs off the metal it's not jammed it's a, a loose slide I'm happy with that yeah don't worry the uh, safety switch is down yeah, got safety here down there you can still have you so yeah I'm going to put a chamfer on and sometimes you ask why and the answer is probably just because I can so this is just from the top slide so uh, let's see if we can part it off. I can't get close because I've got the safety. Reverse. Let's see how we go. It's, uh, it's tight up on this one. Smoking. I'm not going to try and put a chamfer on that. I'll, uh, I'll adjust that afterwards. Alright, so uh, yeah, that part's been made, it's nice and smooth. This is the order of play in your bambo. Ball goes in, little plasticky cup washer goes on top. Then an upside down cone. Then this cone, that's that's how it came. And this is the part I've made. It's going to slip over their cone and just allow a little movement. Not much. Not much. And I wonder if that'll be enough. I don't know. So if that's about central, about half a turn. Screw on the uh, the base. Okay, it's loose. It's just touching now. Half a turn. Ah, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? No. Okay, that extra ring doesn't work. Ah, dilemma. Right, here's the way we're going to go. If I skinny that down, it might weaken it too much. Currently, it's a ring shape. I'll cut it as a C. Try that. So I'm going to take it out, cut it as a C. Okay, so... We've got it in pieces. We'll try the C shape. The problem is that can rotate into the wrong place. But if I adjust this screw tension and put a detent in here with a ball end mill, it will hold tight. But before I do that, let's just see if the concept works. Let's put it back together. So that's where it's just touching, tighten it. Ooh. 
that's it so now screw this down hard and make a mark that's it yeah well that wasn't too easy to see where it uh where it marked on just little scuffs so i'm going to mark it up with a bit of daikon which smells lovely try again oh this is oh, it's a winner there you go it's sort of pear dropsy something like that lovely we'll let that dry and uh, we'll then mark it so that's got it a little better we're just here so i'll mark it and i'll put a groove across the the width and i'll take the end of this little grub screw and we'll round it so it sits nicely into the new groove there you go form tool on a lathe high speed steel just take the the end off round it off bullet point it's not good on high production work but just for doing this daft little stuff that you'll end up doing in a shed high speed steel fab i'll improve this visual reference point a little bit but i'm not going to scribe it that's the nearest i've got i've got a finer one but i, I think i'll just use that we'll round that out or looking at it this way around which makes more sense okay so we're set up in the mill yeah 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 you guessed it we give it the beans give it a bit more reps okay so sit rep that would just be enough to locate stop my searing from rotating let's reinstall there is actually a plastic cup part in this rim it wasn't a machine finish they've just glued a cup in there so don't be too exuberant taking that ball in and out because it it will clonk on the plastic yeah the chamfered side down and I need to pick up that little snick there. Okay, so you can see that we've just picked that up. I'm going to shorten that wing a little. Don't like that. It it will just make this ring too short. I'll put another groove in. And then there'll be a groove for both. Now that's pretty strong still. Okay, fair enough. Two little grooves now. All smoothed off, all polished on my Dremel. Fantastic. We've uh, rounded the end on this uh, lock screw as well, just, just to make life better. So I'll put it back together. There you go. That's, that's what we've ended up with. All right, last one tightened. I'm just going to touch that one and then... Bring that one in. All right, come on, boys. Clonk it. Oh, you little. Okay, that was nearly not quite. I think my wings are slightly in the wrong place. I'm going to shorten them off. You can take it off, but you can't put it back, huh? Let's shorten them. Right, so we, uh, we're sneaking up on it. We'll try again. There's little bits that we've taken off again. This gives an idea of how much of the circle to cut out. So there it is uh, going in again. What you usually do when you take a plate off like this is put a witness mark. So when you put it back together, you get it in the right location each time. But I didn't want to scratch this head, did I? Come on, Bembo, lock up your blighter. <laughs> It's Kanoka Lockard. Okay, so look, reality here, it's a fiddle. You've seen how much I cut off that part. If you haven't got a shed to do this, there's a shed guy near you. And if you show him what to do, this is much quicker instead of all of this chew. Right, shed guy says thank you. Thank you, Bembo. Okay, so uh, that's what the Bembo head's made for.